friends, so today we have a Walmart grocery haul. We will. I got some Kroger too. We went to Kroger on Friday and I ended up spending quite a bit, so I decided just to go ahead and film that for you. So I filmed Kroger and then tonight we went to Walmart and I'm going to share everything that we got there. Didn't buy a ton. We spent uh, $218, I think, but a couple of those was Christmas presents. I think it's two Christmas presents. So you won't be seeing those, but you'll see everything else. Uh, but we didn't buy a ton. I wanted to stock up on hamburger, but I'm going to wait until we go to Sam's Club. I'll probably go to Sam's Club next weekend. Show you everything that we got tonight and everything that we got the other night at Kroger. So if you enjoy grocery hauls and this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe down below. We are slowly growing our channel here and we appreciate each and every one of you. And let's go ahead and just jump right in. All right, so from Kroger this week, we got two things of the big K Cola and one thing of Dr. K. That's the main reason we went in there, but then we also needed light bulbs. Um, this isn't why we went in there, but the girls just remembered them. Everything else was pretty much just a, we seen it, we got it kind of thing. I do need some of this stuff for some upcoming treats. So I just seen it and it was kind of on sale. I don't know if it was on sale compared to Walmart, but I seen it and while I was thinking of it, I grabbed it. So that's what we did. Uh, we'll start with the food. So we got two of the Kool-Aid juices. Lily has really been liking those lately. So we went ahead and just grabbed two of those. And we grabbed some more Gushers. These was on sale. Not really like a killer deal or nothing, but good enough to buy them. And Lily really likes Gushers, so we grabbed those. Obviously, anybody can eat them, but just like one kid will pick something or whatnot, or I'll buy something with that kid in mind kind of thing. So we got two of those. Got two packs of these little peppermint sticks for the cocoa bar and just the kids to eat. But we'll leave one of them on the cocoa bar and I will put the other one away. Because if I leave both of them out, it seems like, you know, kids, I think adults are pretty bad about it too. But when they'll see that there's a lot, it makes them eat more kind of thing. So we'll put one out and put one up. And then I got some of these snickerdoodle, Lindor, whatever, truffles. Snickerdoodle is delicious. Um, I thought we would get those for a, a special, special treat. So we got a thing of those. Got some of these mini Reese's unwrapped. I needed, I'm making a recipe. Well, you'll see it eventually if you watch those. And if you don't, you won't see it. You'll never know why I need these. So I just got these instead of what I needed for a recipe. Anyway, so I got those. And then I also needed some Reese's Pieces. And I didn't remember how much I needed, so I just went ahead and grabbed the big pack. I mean, it's not like they'll go to waste or anything if I don't need that much. One of John's favorite things is Skittles and these Wild Berry are one of his favorite. We've only been able to find this big bag like this at Kroger. And I went ahead and grabbed him one of those. He was completely out of them anyways. But went ahead and grabbed those. I seen this on Instagram and was intrigued by it. And then thankfully today at Kroger, I found it and this was the last one that they had. I mean, it's just a Dunkin' box of chocolates and it has Boston cream flavored, brownie flavored and chocolate cream. So I'm excited to give these a try. And then they had Hamburger Helper on sale. I think there's a $1.29 a pack. I went ahead and just grabbed two of the triple cheese and then this is just a cheeseburger and macaroni. Just figured that that would be good to put them into the pantry. So I went ahead and grabbed those for a quick dinner night. And we've not had Hamburger Helper in forever. I did buy one a couple weeks ago, but we've still not even tried it. I mean, we've not ate it. We've tried it before. But I figured for that price, I'm sorry. I'm looking at that, not the camera. But I figured for that price, we could go ahead and get just a little stock up, so to speak. And then we saw these. Lily did anyways and wanted them, so I grabbed those for the kiddos we got two of the baby pickles here i bought one of these i guess it was last week and lily and nolan ate through them in just like two days i guess so i bought these last earlier this week we went down to the dollar general and i grabbed some there and they only had the dollar general brand clover valley or whatever it is they was pretty disgusting i threw them away they tasted dirty so we're never buying those again, but we grabbed two of them this week because if they go through one in just a few days again, that way we have backups. 
This is for a dessert that I have coming later on. Um, and I just seen the stuff and went ahead and grabbed it. I think this was on sale, but it really wasn't much of a sale. Uh, so I grabbed a thing of the sugar cookie mix and then the golden Oreos. We needed some more coffee creamer, this one specifically. And they didn't have it at Walmart last week, so we went ahead and grabbed that when we seen it at Kroger. And then these I just got because they was cute. It is double walled glass coffee cups. I like glass coffee cups. I think they look cuter, especially if I'm wanting to like film the coffee making. And these was on sale for $3.75. I only picked up two because I really didn't need these. I just wanted them. So we grabbed that. And then we got some Christmas themed wax melts. This is sugared cranberries, Christmas wonderland. And then I got this winter pine. That was on sale for $2.50. Again, not really a sale if you're comparing it to Walmart. But we went at Walmart. So we got that because I bought this. I don't have a Christmas warmer. I thought I did. But obviously, I guess I don't. Um, and this one was super cute. It looks like a little fireplace. So I don't know where we're going to put this. It was $11 or $10.50. Same thing. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. But I figured we would find somewhere to put it. And I'm excited about it because I think it's super cute. But anyways, that's all that we got at Kroger this week. So at Walmart, our Walmart had full stock of the Christmas ice creams. I really wanted the gingerbread sandwiches, but I was afraid nobody else would eat those. So that way I may not have to eat all of them. And I'm not like the hugest, hugest. I'm not like the biggest fan of ice cream, but I thought that people would enjoy these. So I did get those. And they did have these. This was actually the last one of these. So they wasn't fully stocked on these. But they had the holiday macarons. This is the chocolate orange, chocolate hazelnut, gingerbread, peppermint flavored, pistachio, and vanilla. So I thought the girls would really like these. So we picked up those. Got to four things of the knockoff Cool Whip. This was like, I don't know, 70 cents cheaper. At least 70 cents cheaper. I don't know. We've got four of those because... I don't like this by itself as good as the real Cool Whip, but if you add sugar and um, powdered sugar and pudding and all that stuff, it's gonna, it's fine. So we got four of those. I got a big block of sharp cheddar and then a block of mozzarella cheese so that we could grade that this week. Lily got one thing of these cream cheese wontons. These are her favorite and she finished off the boxes she bought last week, last night, but they only had one. So we only got to get one this week. We got one thing of ground beef. Then we needed some pepperonis for one of the things we're going to make this week. So we got those. And then we got some bologna. We also got some butter. And then it's been forever since we bought these. And I thought Lily might like these. I know Nolan will like them. But I think Lily would like these as just a quick side or meal or whatever. So we got some of those. Then we got a pepperoni pizza as well as a cheese pizza because we ate these last week so we had to replace them then we got a thing of pizza sauce two things of sweetened condensed milk what some coffee they didn't have the dunkin donuts so we got the starbucks this week but the dunkin donuts is by far the best but we'll make do with that and then i got some coconut oil i needed these for a recipe and then lily just wanted these I needed angel hair pasta. I don't know. It's, I think this is just the same thing. We're going to pretend it is, even if it's not. So, I got some thin spaghetti. And then I got these for one of the meals we're going to make. Plus, if we have this, Lily likes to take the cheese pizza and add pineapple and ham to it. And this way, it's not getting wasted because it's one little thing. And we will eat it, but sometimes we don't eat it. And it goes bad. So, I figured if we got these little cups, it's... It's less likely to get wasted and i just grabbed these because they was there i don't even remember i think they were just sitting in a random spot and i just grabbed them and got them but this is the christmas minis i got the other ones last week we're gonna put this in our baking stash i don't know we'll use them for something and then i got two of the chocolate puddings i needed this for a recipe and then this dove one just i don't know it just seemed like it'd be better because it was dove so we got two of those i needed chocolate chunks for a recipe and i figured we just put this in it because it's it, it's good okay so i got that and then we got some graham cracker crumbs i needed chocolate 
but they didn't have it. We're going to make do with that. I might add some cocoa powder to it. I don't know. You'll see if you stick around for cooking videos. If you like cooking videos, I think this will be in Thursday's video, if I'm not wrong. And then we got some chocolate syrup. We was out of garlic powder, and if you've been around, you know that we use this on almost every single thing. So I had to get that. We was also out of a table salt, so grabbed one of those. And then we grabbed some flour, just because we was getting low, and, well, we always got to have flour. And then we grabbed a, another thing of marshmallows. We still have like half a pack on the coffee bar, but I don't want to run out because the kids have been doing a lot of hot chocolate. So I grabbed those, grabbed some brioche buns for a recipe that you will see Friday, I think. So I picked up the brioche buns for that. Got myself some of my favorite bread here. This is just 35 calorie white bread. It's just what I prefer. I don't know, after years and years of dieting, like your taste change. And this is one of the things that I just prefer over anything else. So I got that. Got a big thing of Hawaiian rose for one of the meals this week. And when we went to Kroger, I didn't get myself no soda. So I grabbed this. I just, why was I there? I don't know, but I walked down the soda aisle and this just, it just popped out at me. So I grabbed this for myself. Nolan needed some more vitamins. I bought him these a couple of weeks ago at Kroger just because it was spur of the moment. Those there, those on sale, and he needed them. And these are his absolute favorite. They really do taste good because I take them. I take them sometimes too. But these are his favorite, so we grabbed those. And then this is something Nolan needed. Don't ask. So I got that. Well, he got that for himself. And then he also seen this and wanted it. It's a camping cup, I think. I don't know. This kid. But he got that as well. And then he also got this brush, bottle brush tree. Is that what they're called? It's a village tree anyways. Because he bought a tiny train set from the Dollar General. And he wanted a tree to put in the middle of it. So that is the one he picked. And then I got this. I wouldn't have bought one for this much. I think this is almost $7. But if I'm making like pastries or something and it I want to sprinkle powdered sugar on top I don't like getting the whole little hand sifter out so I thought I could use this it's a strainer but I thought I could put powdered sugar in it and um dust it on and it would work better I don't know we'll see I picked up that for that and then I needed some more tweezers I grabbed that to hopefully they're good I bought some a couple of weeks ago and they was trash I picked up these so I can share some treats that I'm going to be making. Yes, you can have the baby. <clears throat> and then I saw this. This was part of their Black Friday sale. Walmart's doing theirs different. It's like every Monday. I don't know. It was last Monday and then it's this Monday as well. And this was on sale for three. No, that would be great. It was on sale for $10. And I just went ahead and grabbed it when I seen it today. And I grabbed the blue set why i don't know i just i've been drawn to this color lately so i grabbed that as well and i needed it because i thought this bow was super cute and then my measuring spoons i've slowly been breaking those so i got that but okay so yeah that is what that we picked up this week i hope that you enjoyed watching we will probably be doing a sam's club haul next week maybe lord willing or schedule permitting both of those will go into play but we will definitely have a grocery haul at least. Um, I planned on getting stuff for Thanksgiving this week, but then I just, it's kind of up in the air about what we're doing exactly. Um, we're having our family Thanksgiving on the 26th, so the Saturday actual, the Saturday after actual Thanksgiving. So I'm thinking here at home, we're probably not going to do a big meal and then we would just have Thanksgiving when we have Thanksgiving for our, with our family. I'm not fully set on that, so I didn't. I didn't really know what I was buying yet. I know what I'm making for family Thanksgiving, but I haven't, um, I didn't feel like making that or adding that to the list. So anyways, you will see that all next week. Make sure that you subscribe down below if you're not part of our family. We do lots of cooking and cleaning, and then we throw in some vlogs and we do lots of grocery hauls and cooking, and then we throw in some cleaning, throw in some vlogs, all of that fun stuff. So if you're into that, especially cooking, because Vlogmas is coming and I've got some fun things planned for that. 
um, make sure that you subscribe. But we will see you all next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, guys.